Okay guys, so today I'm going to show you how you can create your own custom WordPress plugin and then you'll be able to install it on any WordPress website and then you can upload your own plugin, choose your file. So this is the one that we are going to create together. Click open, install, activate it. Now, as you can see, we have our own custom plugin installed now and activated. We even have the description, the version, who created it. And by the side, in the menu section, we have our own tab with our own icon. And if you click on it, we have the instructions that go with that plugin. So let me show you how we can do that. Okay, so let's get started. So as you can see, I've deleted that plugin now. So we're going to start afresh. And the first step we're going to take is to go and look at the WordPress plugin developer handbook. So basically, these are all the resources, developer resources that we will need in order to create a plugin and do everything in the right order, in the right manner, because there's a specific steps we have to follow, of course. So I'll leave a link in the description below. So let's have a look at this now. And from here, we get all the different instructions related to different subjects. But what we are interested in, obviously, because we're starting afresh from the very beginning, what we need is the plugin basic. So let's start from there. This is the very first step, obviously. And we need the header requirements. So this is our very, very first step. So as you can see here, the first thing we need to do is to give it a name, give our plugin a name. And this is the code we need to insert. So this is our very first line of code. So let's get started with this. Okay, so let me split the screen in half. So on one half, on the right hand side, we're going to have the plugin handbook with our sample code. And on the other side, feel free to use any uh, PHP or HTML editor. Uh, for our for the sake of our uh, tutorial here, we're going to use Visual Studio Code. So let me show you. So this is a free tool you can download online. But again, feel free to use any HTML or PHP editor that you're comfortable with. So let's create our new file. So Control N, and we're going to save it immediately. So save as, and we're going to call. So I'll create a folder. I've created a folder called Custom Plugin, and this is our file. So I'm just going to rename this file, okay? So this is going to be a PHP file. So I'll select PHP. So where's PHP? Right here. And I'm going to call this custom hyphen plugin. There you go. And then save. And because this is a PHP file, we're going to start with our PHP tag. So there you go. So this is our opening trail. And then we're going to copy the content of this uh, sample code here. So basically, this is to give it a name. Now, if we scroll down the page, we have a fuller example here. As you can see, this one, you can give it a name, a description, a version, the author name, etc. So what we're going to do is just basically copy this and paste it underneath, just like that. So now we don't need all this information. So we might remove a few lines, to be honest, you know, so we might remove this, this, maybe that, this one as well. So let's delete those, uh, PHP requirement and all that. We could keep this, why not? So what we need, basically, all we need is the name for now. So let's call this custom plugin, my custom plugin. And uh, the description, let's call this tutorial with Mr web reviews the version it will be 1.0.0 because it's our very first one and then the name let's call it mr web reviews very good so control s to save very good so this is our very first step now what we need to do is to define what's the main function of this plugin what's the purpose of this plugin so for this, we need to add a few more lines of code, obviously. So for the sake of our tutorial here, we can just go online and look for some code snippets. So code snippets basically are functions that are already made and ready to use. So for instance, if you look for WordPress code snippets, and uh, I found this one here, themeisle.com. And as you can see, they provide 10 useful code snippets for WordPress users, but feel free to use any of them, obviously, you know. So if I open this in a new tab, and if we scroll down the page, as you can see, this one is to allow contributors to upload images. And this is the code get, that goes with it. So let's keep scrolling down the page a little bit. And maybe we can try this with a very simple function. This one is to disable the admin bar. So basically, if we were to copy this, so Control-C, 
just this line here, just this one, Control C, Control V. So this is gonna add a filter, show admin bar and return is false. So basically it will not show the admin bar. Okay, so let's put this to the test now. So we take our folder here, this is our file. And now we need to archive that file, create a zip file out of it. So I'm using winrar.com, uh, uh, it's a free tool again here, but uh, feel free to use any other uh, uh, tool that you, you use to. So add to archive, this is the way I would do it here, and then create as a file custom plugin.zip. So this is our custom file now as a zip file and archive. And now we go back to our WordPress dashboard. Very good, so first let me expand this window. So let's have a look at our front end. So this is our homepage, and as you can see on top here, we have the admin bar displaying in the front end. Now let's go back to our plugin and now we can upload our own plugin, activate it. And then normally if we go back to the homepage, the admin bar shouldn't show. So add new, upload plugin, choose file. And this is the file we just created. Open, install. And now we activate the plugin. Very good. Now we have our own plugin here, as you can see. And if you go back to the homepage and refresh, there you go. Now the, the admin bar is gone. Amazing, isn't it? All right, now let me deactivate this. I'm gonna delete it. And now let's crank it up a notch. So let's go back here. And if we scroll down the page, we have example number 10 here. So this one is to create a PayPal donation short code. And as you can see, this is the code here that we need to copy. And there's a, a short code we can use on our page afterwards. So Let's go ahead with this one now. So let me delete this line of code and we're gonna copy and paste this one instead. There you go. Okay, so let's hit Control S to save our file. Now I'm gonna save it as an archive. There you go. And now we can go back to our WordPress dashboard. So we're gonna install, add new, upload plugin again, choose file. I'm gonna select the new file we just saved, install, activate plugin. And to show you that the plugin is working, let's insert the short code on the home page. So let's go back here, right click, copy. And now we're going to go to pages, edit the home page. Let's add a new section. We're going to look for a short code. That's the one here. And I'm going to paste it here. Update. So let's have a quick preview. Let's refresh this. As you can see, we have my text here. If I click on this, it will bring us to PayPal. So as you can see, this is working. So back to our plugin now. Clearly, if someone wants to install that on their WordPress website, they will know how to use it. So we need to give them some instructions. So let's create a tab by the side here with some instructions. So let me show you how we can do that. Okay, so for this, we go back to our plugin handbook. And this time we're going to look at administration menus. And all we need basically is just one top level. So just this one here. So as you can see, again, we have the instructions here by the side, a few examples. And if you scroll down the page, we have a fuller version here, and this is the one that we are going to use. So basically we just copy this action here, Control C, a bit of spacing, and then Control V. Okay, so what we have here basically is very simple. So this is the name of our option, WP org and WP org options. So this is basically what will display in the menu tab in the section on the left hand side. So basically well, let's give it a name. So let's call this Mr. Web Reviews. And let's do the same here, Mr. Web Reviews options. Mr. Web Reviews options, very good. And now right here underneath, as you can see here, this line is related to the, the icon that will display next to our option tab in the menu section. Now, this is an actual PNG file. So we're gonna make our lives much easier. We're going to use dash icon, which is the official icon font of the WordPress admin as of uh, version 3.8. So we're gonna to go to dash icon. So let me expand this window here. So basically from here, you can select any of those icons. So let's say we're gonna go with this one, maybe this one, it says plugin. You select your icon. And as you can see, you have a small code here, just like this, this one here. So this is the one that we are going to copy in our file. So right click copy, and then we're gonna paste it in our file. So basically we're gonna delete all the beginning here, remove all that all together, just keep this, and in between those brackets, paste that code, just like that. Now Control S to save, 
Now, if you archive that file and save it as a zip file, you'll be able to upload it onto your WordPress website. So let's do this and let me show you the results now. So upload, choose file, custom plugin, install, activate. And as you can see, now we have by the side our new menu tab, Mr. Web Review Options with our icon next to it. Now, if we click on it, as you can see, it's not displaying anything. So that page is empty. So now we have to create a separate file to show right there. So let me show you how we can do that. And for this, let's go back to our instructions here. So this is the code that we inserted. This is the exact same. Now, if you scroll down the page a little bit, you can see this one has an additional two lines, and this is to call an external file. So this is basically to have the content of the page displayed straight from this file. So what we need to do is just to copy this and replace those two lines of code with the two uh, new lines here. So control V, very good. So as always, we are going to save. And then let me show you here, I'm going to bring Windows Explorer. So this is our folder, this is our file. And you, as you can see, we need to create a new folder and a new file. So if you right click here, if you're using Windows, you can create a new folder. So I'm going to call it admin. So that's our new folder. And now we're going to create a new file right here, control N, and we're going to call that file and save it in that folder. So save as, we're going to open the folder called admin, and we're going to call it view.php, and then save. Very good. So since this is a PHP file, we'll have to start with our PHP tag. And this is where we're going to insert the content that should display on our page. So what do we want to say? Well, let's go back to our explanation here. So this is the code. So they should actually insert this short code on their page. So let's copy this and let's display this on screen. So echo, and then we're going to insert this right here. And we're going to put the instruction at the front. So please insert this short code anywhere on your page. Something like this. Very good. And let's not forget to end up with a semicolon. So control S to save. Now let's put this to the test. So we select all our files here. Add to archive as a zip file. OK. And now let's go back to our WordPress dashboard. Let's increase the size. Add new. Upload plugin. Choose file. This is our plugin. Install. Activate. And now normally, if we click on this, we should have our instructions how to use our plugin. As you can see, we have a message here. Please insert this shortcode anywhere on your page. And this is the shortcode that our users should use. And as you can see, I added a bit of CSS code as well to jazz it up. We have a white background here, a bit of padding around it and a gray border uh, all around it as a frame. So feel free to tweak things around, you know, to match your own personal requirements. And I wish you all to have great fun with those features. And if you ever come up with a nice plugin we might all enjoy, please feel free to share that in the comment section below. Thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.